Hello everybody, my name is Seth Khan and welcome to a series I'm going to be starting on Astro Nair now. I played this game I think a long time ago, I streamed it, um, but I want to turn into an actual script because this game has got a lot of depth and a lot of creativity to it and there's actually been a couple of updates recently. Um, now before we begin, I'm going to begin with a huge thank you to Tenno Wizard. oh wait, I actually thanked him inside the Red Dead Redemption, well, Destroyed by Grief video, that was the first one, not the second one I uploaded a little bit ago. Um, he actually was very generous to help me begin my Astro Nier career. I actually played and beat the game, but I do not remember anything or how to do anything. So I thought it'd be best to hop in the series, and who knows, maybe we'll tell him to come back and help me with the series. But apart from that, we got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of ground to cover, and this first video is actually going to be kind of short because I it's very late at night. This weekend, though, um, I'm probably going to have a lot of time to record and make more videos. So apart from that, guys, let's begin. I'm going to start a new adventure game. So this game... I guess you guys who don't know is a galaxy kind of survival game and I'll kind of explain how everything goes um, I do know handy a little bit but not a lot so I guess we're just gonna land here and figure out where we got what we got okay already I see some resin compound over there that's good so now we're gonna exit our little thing here I believe yep and now this whole thing just turned into a freaking shelter And my things in the ground. Anyway, so this is Astroneer. Uh, this is my Astroneer. Uh, this specific color palette um, is only available to those who have a specific, I guess, exclusive type of thing. Uh, we're going to have to have them here and we're going to have to complete Planetfall. Alright, so this gives us a small printer and a oxygenator. Now, I've looked at the controls. I know how everything goes. In fact, I reflected on some of my old notes. I did not consult Tenno. Our tech now. Um, I mean, it's been forever since I played this game. I gotta remember all the controls. Okay. It's like right there. Got it. Now we're gonna take this power cable, plug it into that. Alright, so now our first order of business is. Ooh. Research. Yoink. Well, so later on we get a research chamber. We're gonna research these things and it's what gonna it's gonna create these things called bites. And we can use bites to a research stuff for example you can get like a leveling block or anything like that but eventually you can start crafting things like an oxygenator you can start creating automation you can cra create storages you can start creating vehicles you can start creating platforms you can start creating different things you can create track you can create vehicles in this game and so yeah you got the landing pad you got the small shuttle the medium shuttle and the large shuttle the large shuttle is going to come in very handy later uh you can play chess in this game uh, it's a figurine platform. You can play chess. So, yeah. Apart from that, we got lots to cover. And so, uh, the first things first, we're going to need to head outside of the safety of our oxygen. So, if you see that little bar on my top there. That's my oxygen level. The yellow is your power. That will decrease whenever you are using tech on your backpack or you are just using your terrain tool. Your oxygen is slowly going to run out. And once it runs out, you'll slowly start taking damage. And if you do not get oxygen quickly, you will die. Um... First off, we're going to run a little bit away from the base, and we're going to go find compound, which is this stuff over here. The, this green stuff is organic. The compounds we're going to use to create more tethers, which is what we use to connect oxygen networks, and we're going to use this to also build more supplies. And so, and by the way, it's a a certain amount in order to create like an ingot, and then you carry those ingots in your backpack, but you have limited space. Kind of like it's like Minecraft, but more spacey. Am I going to accidentally get a thing of a... Uh, Organic, I think it's called. All right, I need to head back because yeah, I'm running on oxygen. Ooh, make it back. Okay, we got a decent amount of uh, compound, but I mean it's it's something. And also, our priority number one should also be finding a cave because caves have a lot of resources and they're very easy to tether through. Wait for my uh, thing to fill. And also, yeah, so you can press the arrows on your D-pad on PlayStation to cycle through which blueprints. So we're gonna want to get a going to get tethers. One co pex to compound equals, I think, uh, oh crud, how many is that? I gotta look at the, I gotta look at it. Uh, it's about, about 11 tethers per pack, at least I think it is? I don't know. I'm gonna craft three pack of tethers, I'm gonna save the rest of the compound. Now, our first order of business is also a mission log, like a full mission system. Uh, also get, you can also get rewards from it. Uh, that's gonna be our main way of also getting, like, equipment. 
So, okay, we have, okay, I'm not gonna track that one. Uh, connect the tether to an oxygenator. And also, on PlayStation, you want to press your down on the D-pad, that'll automatically place a tether. And if you accidentally place a tether a little too far away, like, for example, this, it will connect. You need to press L2, put on your cursor, move it around. You can place it a little bit offline, or, there we go. And that basically makes it to where you can just walk right through. And once again, you can just make, oh, okay, well, that sucks. All right, well, apart from that, we're gonna start making our way tethering. And as you can see, you can see other planets. We can actually visit those planets too. Uh, and I think we already found a cave system. That is, I think that's really good. Okay, we're gonna start tethering down here. And ooh, that's quartz, I think. Okay. It's very hard to place down those tethers. Yeah, is that quartz? Uh, I think if you over a second. Okay, yeah, it tells you. It tells you what's quartz. And also, if you see there, it says glass material. You can refine certain amount of resources. Like obviously you can't refine a compound. I don't think, I think you can. Actually, I, I don't know. I'm, I get confused. I play this game sometimes. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Now, I'm actually going to end this video here. That's because, well, like I said, I don't have much time to record today. Uh, basically because I got to get ready for school tomorrow. Um, I know, high school is a place of hunk. I, I know. Pfft. And also, um, what button is it? Nope. Okay. I got to turn that tether in my backpack. Alright. And, yeah, say so there's also a compass to show you, like, where's all your stuff at. There's, like, there's a... There's a purple thing on the map, by the way, which we'll be going over in a later episode. Um, but not for the moment. Right now, let's just head back to base. And also, I'm pretty sure you can also just press it, and it'll, it'll toggle the least most recent thing you activate, like this has been the research catalog. Circle. Why are the honks it's still... Why the honks my compass still up? Turn it off. Well, I guess if you just tap it, it turns on the... Uh, Okay, so yeah, it turns on the most recent thing, but you need to, uh, obviously disable it again by just clicking on it again. But, and also, by the way, this game does not autosave. You have to go into either a ship, a rover, a buggy, or just enter a shelter. And right there, you'll see saving game. That's the only way to save your game. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little, I guess, first mini episode of Astroneer. Hope you guys enjoyed it, um... And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm sorry this was a very short episode. But like I said, I really don't have much time to record today. Oh, and also, uh, if I can figure out which button it is. Not that. There's an emote button, too. Yeah, right here. So there's a full-on emote wheel. Kind of thing is like Fortnite here. I gotta figure out which emote I want. I picked out. It's the, uh, there we go. We'll walk way out of here. <laughs> see you guys later.